I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new leather crafting kit from Weaver Leather based on the warrior helmet design from the Prince Armory Academy. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this helmet, and the only tool you really need is a hammer. This project is fantastic for beginners or even first-time leather crafters, and there's a lot of room for optional tooling, layers, and other details, which makes it suitable for any skill level. What you see here is the first prototype. The final packaging may vary, but at minimum, you will receive all of the pre-cut parts and a package of medium double cap rivets. There are so many options for dye and finish, so be sure to pick up a small bottle of leather dye of your choice too if you want to add some color. And as you get started, you can lay out your pieces which will be assigned with letters and marked with directional indicators to help you plan your build. The first thing I'm going to do is to wet the leather to prepare it for tooling and shaping. I suggest you fully immerse the leather into the water, one piece at a time for just a few seconds each. If the leather dries out on you while you're working on it, you can always re-wet it at any time. As you can see from the finished example, the upper side pieces are somewhat domed, so while the pieces are still damp, I'm going to shape them a little bit. This process is generally referred to as wet molding or wet forming. This is technically optional, but it will make assembly a bit easier and the finished helmet will look nicer when assembled. If you can find something spherical around your house, you can use that as an aid to help you stretch the leather a little bit. You can also simply dish the leather by hand. Try stretching a dome into the leather by pressing it into your palm and working it with your fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect or even super deep. The helmet design itself will force things into shape as you build it for the most part and you can clean up the final shape as you go or at the end of assembly. I want to make this tutorial very simple, so I'm only going to do an edge groove and bevel the edges of this project, but I would definitely encourage you to get creative and have some fun with tooling. Check out some of the other tutorials on the channel if you want to learn more about enhancing the detail of your piece. To start putting the parts together, you'll be using double capped rivets. They'll snap together to help hold things together temporarily, and then you'll smash them together for a permanent fit with your hammer. Generally, you would use a rivet setter, which costs maybe a dollar or two, but assuming you do not have any other tools, I'll demonstrate the process without. You will have to find something firm to hammer against though. A small granite slab like this is handy to have, but anything dense and solid will probably suffice. Also, make sure the leather is still damp at this stage to improve the ease of assembly throughout. Alright, let's start the assembly. Your first step will be to attach the center top piece labeled A to the side pieces labeled B. Start with the front two rivets on either side and strike firmly to set the rivets. Move up to the third rivet hole and persuade the holes to line up, which will begin to force the spherical shape into the helmet. You can set the rivets from the inside. Then loop the side pieces around to the back of the central top piece and start again at the bottom last two holes and force the third hole into alignment.
To complete the top of the helmet, we need to attach the rounded inserts labeled D, and there will be a top and front indicators for orientation. You can start by setting the top rivets first along the center of part A and work your way around. If any rivets are hard to reach with your hammer, you can use a setter or just push the leather out of the way like so. Once you get them set, you can smooth out the shape a bit by tapping around the edges. Mirror the process for the other side. You can continue to refine the shape at this stage too. Now we will attach the back of the helmet labeled E to the back part A starting at the center and working your way out. You'll also rivet along the sides on part B. Wait to set the last rivet there, as we need to attach the cheek plates labeled C. Here we will need to set the rivet through all three layers including B, C, and E, and you'll either use a long rivet here, or you can simply thin the leather a bit by hammering it or skive it if you're comfortable doing so. Once the cheek plate is attached to the top, you'll begin attaching it to the sides of part E, but here again wait for the last rivet. You can continue to refine and smooth the shape of the helmet and blend the shape by tapping around the riveted areas. The final piece will be the tail piece labeled F. If you like the flared out shape, you can curl and stretch the piece before assembly. Start at the back center and work your way around. Towards the end, you'll need to go through three layers again to merge E, F, and C on either side. As long as the leather is still damp, you can easily thin it out by hammering it a bit.
With that, the assembly is now complete. At this stage, you can now refresh the moisture content of the helmet and tweak the shape to preference. Since I was tweaking the shape as I assembled the piece, only minor work is needed here. Now all that is left is to decide how you want to color it, and there are many options when it comes to dyes. And I've demonstrated a number of colors and styles in previous videos, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. But here are a few suggestions. Always be sure to test with scrap first, or if you don't have scrap leather because the kit is your first project, test somewhere on the underside that's less likely to be seen. I would generally suggest normal leather dye. You'll probably need one to two four ounce bottles depending on if you dye the inside or not. I used black pro oil dye for the black helmet, which is demonstrated in the previous tutorial, and it can also be fun to use stain, or both. I used mahogany stain gel for this brown one. And don't forget to seal the piece whatever you decide. There are many options here too, and I generally like to use an acrylic finish inside and out like Weaver's Tough Coat, which will firm up and finish the piece. And Chuck from Weaver Leather has a great video all about finishes, which I'll link to below. So how did your build turn out? We would really love to see the results of your work. Please share your projects on social media and tag Prince Armory Academy and Weaver Leather so we can see and possibly feature your work. If you have any questions, drop a comment below or join our Discord. If you like the video and want to help others find it, please leave a like. And if you know somebody who might want to try this project too, please share it with them. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed.